This week on the show, we're featuring Champagne Quartz, 18 Jokes, an update on Tup That Ruby, and Jacob will scare you, but not because it's Halloween. Oh, 
Who brews the best Halloween beer? Count Draculager. Let's start the show. Hello. Welcome to the show. Cheers. And happy bear beers. Hi, Charlie. You want on the show? Come on, bud. He can be on the show, too. Charlie the cat. He's a good kitty. This week we are featuring a piece of champagne quartz. Been sitting on this piece a while. This this footage, man, how old is this footage? I'm a little I'm I'm wondering. I'm like, hmm. August of 2019. Well, that's what I was thinking, buddy. About 14 months? That's quite a while. I think that qualifies as a while. We'll go ahead and go back so I remember where my place. There we are. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, this piece, I've been sitting on it about 14 months. This, this video is that old. But the next videos, where I finish it out, I just took, like, two hours ago. Maybe three. There's smokiness to it, which is coming through now. I'm going to show it on the microscope cam and see if the chocolate will come through. Blink, blink, blink. Okay, come on, bud. Come here. Come on. Yeah. Here, you want a you wanna piece of jam bang cords? He knows better than to come over here. He knows if he comes over here, he's going to get picked up and shown to the camera. But if I go over there, then he can lay down and get petted. It's kind of a standoff, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he's a good cat. So anyway, i um, going to show you on the microscope cam. The microscope cam. Dun 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 First, fire it up. Come here. Oh, he, <laughs> he knows. He, he's too smart. He's keeping it right at an edge. He's like, nah, I'm not coming over there. I know what you got in plan. You're going to pick me up and show me to everybody on the screen. I'm also I'm also going to show the people microscope cam, Charlie. Mm-hmm. But we've got to get it to show up on camera first. Okay. <clears throat> that basically means... Unmute the microscope cam, find the microscope cam, and then show you the microscope cam. Da da da. Not fake fingers, it, it bugged. Standard renderer use, seems to last the longest. Seems to work the longest, and it likes me. You want to see the champagne cords? Well, the nice people. 
I'm actually gonna get up and go get him. <laughs> He's so standoffish. Now, he's ready to run for the window so he can lay down there and be petted. Okay. There we go. Charlie can host the show. Right, Charlie? This is a piece of champagne quartz and we're shaping it on the faceter. Now can I be put down and petted? <laughs> He's such a good boy. Here you go. Top notch quality entertainment here. Only found on the Trendy Channel. Okay, <clears throat> so I was trying to move the stone around, and then the camera bugged out, and then we switched it to overlay renderer, because Jacob wants to show you the chocolate, there it is, there's the chocolate, see that, it's copper, but it's, it's really more of a chocolatey brown, and so that comes through on the two, the way I can show it on a camera is when I have the lights directly shining down. It has to do with the file the file uh file type no it's we're gonna switch back to standard render. That's a pretty good chalk. I mean I like I you know I like the smoky but I like that chalk. That's a good smoky chocolate champagne quartz. Toy soldiers he was talking. We were we were talking. He was talking about obsidian and amethyst, and I was like, "Nah. What you want is some champ quartz and amethyst, because it's got." Let me see if I can pull up a piece of amethyst and show you the flare of the amethyst in comparison to the flare. Okay, I got a plan. <coughs> got a plan. We're gonna show the obsidian, and we're gonna show the amethyst. We're going to show Mother Nature's Amethyst, because that thing's ready, and it has panache, it has flair. Okay. So that has flair right there. Reminiscent of the Choco Flare. Am I right or right? Yeah. See, I think those two would go well together. Ding, 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 ding. See if I can show them on the on the Jacob Scope Cam. Bah. See, I think you know if they were the same shape, you know, I could do that on the faceter, and then we could get them to both have you know it'd be a nice flare. Maybe not. Let me show you the obsidian. So here's the obsidian, and compares, and they both have a chalk, and they both have a smoke, but the flare on them's a little different. So let me put it under the scope. I don't know. Both unique shapes, and now I'm talking on the camera. But this is so much more of a gray. That was the light. The burping is also from the light. Um, not blaming the Mountain Dew. It's not really co okay. There we go. <clears throat> Notice how the obsidian is a little bit smokier, and the choco quartz is a little bit browner. It's got a little more chocolate to it, just uh, just on the he edge of it, but it comes through a lot more in in daylight. And so that's why I was saying the the color of the of the champ Q would be a little bit better. Just a thought. 
We got two more videos to run, just two. Okay, we got, uh, let's see. We got. This one's 14. Four, what? Oh my word, I am not going to carry on for another 28 minutes. I got two 14 minute videos, and we got an update on Tough That Ruby. That's only about two minutes long, but it is an update, and I'm going to show you all about it. So that's where it sat for a long time. That's where the stone sat. I don't know if there's any more video before it that relates to it. Couldn't find anything directly. I think I, I took that piece off the saw and I may have ground on it without actually recording it. Um, I mean, that would have been like season one, you know? So, um, and actually we're almost to season three already. No! No! I'm not ready for season three. Actually, I'm start. I'm actually I'm starting to get ready for season three. Hey, Ron Weasley's here. Internet is bad this weekend. Yeah, I know. It, it's bad. It's been mean to me too, man. Um, I actually like I I changed around my network and everything, right? So, basically, what I did is I took the router that was on. <coughs> a couple of splitters and it turns out the cable splitters they lose signal every time you split it and so I brought it back a couple and now I'm getting a lot stronger signal but eat wrong like you know when I have those like really buggy streams on the YTA chan then like they, they wouldn't stream at all like I'd have zero zero percent through 100 percent 97 percent frames dropped and now with the movement, I had only 20% during the buggy time. I had 0% uh, for a lot of streams. It's not really showing anything on this stream so far, but I had, man, you know, going to go from not being able to stream to having it say, it might get choppy. That's progress. delicious I'm gonna buy a micro microphone Ron that's gonna be the next thing yeah mm -hmm. I I was really actually I was really close to doing the microphone too and then the corona thing happened and it went from $29 up to $39 so I was like mm. and then I mean even then that's a cheap one but so is this this uh, robot arm with a punching glove on the end. Boof. Clunk. It's um pretty cheap and whiny and I don't really like it. So I'm going to get another one and I just can't decide on which one. And you know, 40 bucks, that's a lot to spend on a toy for a show that doesn't really make me any money. But I was also thinking about doing that YouTube shopping stream thing, right? So maybe I could do that and then... Uh, that would help pay for it, but I was thinking about just go ahead and getting it ahead of time. We're gonna push a piece of prainite into this microscope cam. I love playing with gemstones. I love playing with rocks. Yep. Yeah. Good old gems and rocks and stuff. So, um, whatever I was talking about, yeah. Microphones, I probably should. The question is, if I'm going to spend the money on that, why don't I spend a little bit more? Because if I'm going for better quality, it's not like I'm going for basic function. The boom mic. There's probably a joke in there. I don't know. Didn't have a lot of jokes this week. <clears throat> Must be slowing down from the winter time. The boom mic, huh? What could we write out of that one, Ron? The boom mic. Hmm. Why did the terrorist step on stage? 
He wanted to speak through the boom mic. That's a terror. That's a terroristable joke. How are you this week, sir? I saw your pictures on the Twitters. They look glorious. Glorious. Lovely views. Lovely. It looks like something Bob Ross would paint, man. I'd drive through that or around that or look at that or even just sit back and relax and ponder on it thanks for the post cheers oh yeah that went right around the side I was trying to miss my microphone which reminds me if I got one of those schmantz pants microphones I wouldn't have to keep missing my microphone when I take a drink of the wondrous glorious liquid gemstone that gives us the diabetes oh you're booming your mic okay so I asked what you were doing and you were telling me what you're doing and you're upset with your microphone so you're gonna take it out and make it go kaboom boom 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 what do you want to see Ron a little bit of Turk this is a pretty cool piece of Turk, isn't it? Okay, so the goal with turquoise, and this piece expresses it so well. The goal, the rarity of turquoise, is to have an even color. That's a desirable color, with no pits or cracks. And this thing does not have even color. It has lots of pits. It has lots of cracks. It has matrix. It expresses the difficulty. Like I, I was just expressing the difficulty with the surface scratches in that piece of uh, Champ Q that we oh so lovingly finished out. Oop. That's like finger oil on there. If I go like this, it changes. If I go like this, it changes. So, yeah, it needs to be cleaned. But, you know, microscope cam. And I dropped that thing on the floor, that turquoise. So, um, this is probably a good point to mention that you shouldn't do that with your gems. Ruby. Big Ruby. That's a nice Turk. The fog. The fog? I was waiting for Dogman to come running out. Oh no! The fog. The Dogman was coming out of the fog at you. Ah! Hey, Malone Money Mindset's here. Take notes. Malone is investing his time here. Oh, that was a good one. Hey, that was a good one. Hey, Malone, why don't you, um... Post your link in the chat if you can, because what I want to do when people come in and it and it it shows their um their 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 call out with the chat bot, I want to have it post their link so that people can check out their channel. That that I you know I mean if you can post your link in there for me, I will actually upload that to the chat bot thing, because I want to do that, but I never I never have the time to go and get everybody's channel and plug it in. Look at the flare on the amethyst there. Man, I love playing with these. It's just fun to play with gems, right? Okay, so I showed you that big piece of ruby. Let me show you a little bitty ruby. A little bit. A little bit. Yep, that's ruby. It's even got a little hair on the side. A little fuzzy thing from this. It's like a foam pad. It's got it, you know. It's big foam on the side, but it's got like this pad on the, and that's what that's what they come in. Got a whole bunch of rubies, whole bunch of rubies. Jacob, stop singing. Those rubies are cool, aren't they? That was pretty cool. I I really like that purchase. That was a good purchase. Got a little bit bigger ones too. Here's a slightly larger one. That even has a little bit of. A little bit of translucency in the end of it, doesn't it? Wow. Look at that. There could actually be some good crystal down in there. Huh. 
I mean, they'd just be like quarter carat pieces at the most. It depends on the layer, though. Look at that. Hmm. But this is a good point for me to point out. Okay, so this this. Now I'm 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 gonna bring this back out during Tup That Ruby, which actually we should probably get into. I'm on my phone, so I can't drop my link. Okay, I'm going to get your link, Malone. I'm going to do that. I'm watching you polish while I crotch it. Crozier. Art for everyone. Joan E. Rodden. Hey, Joan, don't you, um, do you stream your, your crosher, your crosher? Christina is waiting for a ruby. Does she, like, like rubies. I thought Christina wanted some chocolate. Hopefully, we were going to talk about um, amethyst for Christina, and that one's for Mother Nature. I hope she's doing well. She was experiencing the snow. The snow is setting in. Which before I do the ruby, I'm going to get Malone's link, and then the next time he comes in. The chatbot thing, alright, I can do this fast. I can't believe that I can't click and go like, Go to the channel. Channel! Go to the channel. I could probably just type it in. Middle, one, middle one. Mayonnaise mindset. Bam. Hey, he showed up right at the top. YouTube channel. And then there's four videos. Okay, I'm going to see if I can show you guys this. Let's see if we can pull this thing up in real time. <clears throat> we'll shut off the microscope cam for a second. And we will get Chrome. Shablizablam. Um Okay, and Joan, I want to talk about Crozier here in a second. Uh, but there you go, Malone. Look at you. That's what... That, see, I, you know, because I don't know you. I don't edit things on your computer. So my computer is not frequent to your results. And, uh, you know, I don't have cookies on my computer that read Malone Money Mindset. And you showed up at the top. And you're the videos... And you're the second one. The se you're the first, like, result, result. So there you go, man. Good job getting your name out there. Let's get your link grabbed. Okay, so there is a channel. We got a link. Copied. Readied. Ready to go. We're firing it up. We're opening the chat bot. I'm going to show you guys the chat bot here. Can we do this thing where Jacob clicks on the chat bot? On the chat bot. On the chat bot, baby. Yeah. I'm going to stop that. Going to stop it. Stop it now. Events. Got to scroll down. Then you go to events. Then you go to Malone. Right click. Edit. And then we go down to here. Enter. V. We'll just put a space. We'll just put a space in there. Spacey, space, space. Submitify. Okay. So Ron, Ron and Joan. Joan, if you want to put um, your link in the channel, let's see. Actually, I can. Uh, it's not like I have a lot going on. I can add your link in the channel. Ron, do you want to um, add? Wait. Ron, do you post or not? I know you post on I know let's see yeah I know you post on I got I gotta remember how to spell <laughs> R-O-N-W-E-A-S-L-E-Y YouTube and it did not readily come up. It did not readily come up. I, I got a whole bunch of results of Ron Weasley. Ron, can you post your link for me, buddy? It is so, it's hard. Okay, I love it. At the chat box. 
the chat the chat bot chat box chat bot chat box the chatter wait 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 we can do this okay we're gonna we're gonna actually go to the video so I can play the next video so you can see what you came to see and then we'll do the ruby and then we'll do the jokes I got a couple of jokes I do gonna finish it out I found it was just easier to go ahead with the uh, hole in the glove we're gonna pull up my actual YouTube channel so I can go through the subscribers hey I'm live holy free toe lays and then we're gonna search my subscribers for Joe and I, I do have over 500 subscriptions so we're just gonna scroll down a little while scroll scroll building the list and loading then we'll go F and we'll go <clears throat> Joan and actually she was really close to the top we just kinda scrolled past it so there's Joan alright now we're gonna do this run where's it at where's it at where's it at wait a minute am I not subscribed to Ron maybe I had trouble finding your channel that's gotta that's gotta explain it Ron dude you gotta send that cuz I couldn't find your channel that's why you gotta you gotta send me your channel in in Twitter yes or post it in the thing okay Joan let's make an event for you in the chat bot we're gonna add event Let's see, it's, hold on a minute, we got, actually, I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to post the link to the Chan as a note in the joke list. Then we're going to search users for Joan. And then we'll go edit. Yes, I did start swearing at the stone. Sometimes they upset me. And they uh, require a uh, little belligerent vulgarity. <coughs> Joan. Oh. Ye. Oh. Joan of the Jungle. Let's see. I'm really bad at writing these, Joan, so... Please welcome Joan of the Jungle. Her very self. And then we will enter your link and that's not the link we'll cut that out zinc and we'll go back to where I posted the temporary link postify and we'll even pick a sound for Joan okay the boom doom sound we're, we're gonna give see the bark Jamie's Malone money mindset sound Spyro we're gonna go to the boom doom sound there you go J Joan I need more sounds yeah, I really the, the all the sounds I have are very specific. So, Joan, unless I'm unless I'm mistaken, the very next time you enter a comment, we should have an event happen where it plays a noise. Noise that's all like a tank, I think. Something like that. Anyway, I made that noise for General Boom Doom. So, we're going to put that on there. I prefer my productions call channel called Rotten Studios. This one is more personal. You got it. You got it. Okay, we're gonna um what Eli family or second star survival. I stream others while I chat bot at times, but I'm not good enough to do tutorials. Just as a hobby, I'm working on a sweater at the moment. 
Oh, that wow. So, I mean, well, you've progressed past doilies and stuff. You're doing a sweater. I mean, Joan, that's got to be difficult in itself. Unless, like, y you know somebody... Oh, wow, there it is. Yep. It's... That's the General of Boom Doom sound. Because he's got a tank on his channel. Oh, man. That was... Yeah, that was quite the... Uh, anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, oh man, the stone rounded over on me. And I was on the last side, too. So I switched to a, a sharper grit. I sh switched to a sharper 240. It was still an old 240, but it was sharper than this one. Man, this piece of stone had some hard spots. It sparked out on me. It was not nice. Welcome, Michigan native. Thanks for coming in. Awesome, it worked. And you dropped your link. We're going to change it to Joan... No, Rotten Stud... There you go, Rotten Studios. Okay. Rotten Studios, this one. Oh, okay, there you go. I love it. I feel like I'm in the jungle most of the time. Okay, so um, let's test this out. Yeah, that was awesome. It worked. That was so cool, Joan. Thanks for helping test that out. Cheers, Michigan. Hey, Mish, can you drop your link in the channel? I've been uh, adding events and um, sound effects, and I don't... Yeah, we don't... Yep, we definitely don't have one for you. We gotta add an event for Michigan Native, because he always comes by almost every single show. He's here to comment and say hello. And he also has a channel where he posts things. So we gotta give him one of them good old shout out of fives from the chatbot. Who doesn't love a good old ch chatbot shout out? Events plus post mish again a tip there we go c a michigan native is growing The knowing you heard um let's see growing the knowing check out his showing there you go all right, so where is the link for Michigan Native channel? He showed up, and there it is. Okay, blam. So then we go click, de little clicky, de post a roasty, and we go pick a sound we gotta get a bong sound cause the beer sound is great but I mean there you go there you go Mish and mother nature's in the house hi mother nature how's it going cheers and Brooklyn OG good evening my friend how's it going buddy it's good to see ya Joan of the Jungle. Yeah, Joni Rotten came by. She was hanging out, and I decided to start editing the chat bot for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's see. We're gonna add we're because we can do this, but I gotta give you an update on Tough That Ruby. So I'm gonna cut it off at Brooklyn, and we're going to go to users. Back. B R or no B K L Y N Blam And there it is too. Okay, edit, then we got A C for user ID, go to events plus user ID, blam, we got B K L Y N O G and well, come 
the OG O OG Glenn OG You see? Yeah. Doing things in real time. What's your channel link, Brooklyn? Let's see. We can actually probably find that too. Pick a sound. We got a sound. Open. We got. Let's see. We can. We can do this. We can do it. Yeah. We're we're pulling it off. We're gonna pull it off before the end of the video, which is when we get to the update on Top That Ruby. Top That Ruby. Okay, we found it. There he is, too. Hanging out, chilling. Been a little while since he's posted. But we'll go ahead and... <clears throat> hope that he posts again soon. Goes live, hangs out, he plays games. What, what, what were you playing? You were playing some GTA last time, right, Brooklyn? Hey, Brooklyn, did you know I've been playing San Andreas on the, G on the uh, YouTube Administrator channel? I was like the GTA channel. I should call it that. I get so many viewers on the the, U, the YouTube administrator channel when I play GTA. Anyway, that is the loveliness that is chatbot updating. We should do this every week. I should actually make this a portion of the show, right? The chatbot update portion of the show, where we update with the chatbot, baby. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go back to the uh, smart camera. Oh, Mother Nature, I was showing off your amethyst. We gotta get that thing to you. Oh, I saw your um, video about snow. Snow, so totally a thing with extra snowiness. I remember one time I, w I went to this um, priory where there was some monks and they had like different people come from all over the world and they had these Mexican girls who had never seen snow before and they went out to sled in it and they were like, it's cold. <laughs> And, you know, because it looks so soft, right? But it, it's, like, colder than you think. I mean, it, you know, you're, you gotta, you got to wrap up. They didn't, ha they, they didn't have enough clothing, so they went back in, and they were like, we need some more clothes because it's really cold, and we didn't know it was going to be that cold. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. So, anyway, um, we were trying to show things, and hola, bestie in the making, much love, Joan. It's cold. Yes, it's cold. Cold, so cold. You gotta have layers. Mother Nature, you gotta get comfortable with layers. Yep, snow is weird like that. It's nice, but it's also. I don't know. I kind of. Sometimes I wonder if I'm like, you know, a summertime person or like a southern. Down by the equator type person at heart. Okay. Yeah, we were getting into the updates on what's up with that ruby. But I was using the microscope cam. Where's it at? There it is. Okay. To show the flares on the the chocolate in the in the you know the flares on the the amethyst, and then the flares on the the chocolate piece. And they really only come through right when I got the light showing. But yeah. Anyway. I really like how that, that, that chalk on the champagne quartz comes through and that flare on the amethyst mm -hmm. makes me think that we're getting close to finding out just exactly up that ruby. I already got layers. Okay, good. Good. Yep. You gotta have like three or four pairs of socks, and then you put on a couple more, and then you gotta have your long johns, and you gotta have a pair of pants for over your other pair of pants, and then you gotta have like five shirts plus a coat, and then you put on your big coat over your little coat, and then you put on um, a couple of shirts and masks over your face, and a couple of hats, and some safety glasses to keep the heat in your eyes, and yeah, then you'll be okay. So pretty, great job. Hey, it. I think it's good. I really like it. I, you know, I, I polished a lot of the the surface of it, and I could have cut it a lot of different ways, trying to even it out. But I, I like to keep them, you know, as big as possible, and also be creative. I, you know, 
Have the, have the shape be creative. Because I get tired of cutting the same shape all the time. And, I, you know, I'm not the only gem cutter. I've actually had other gem cutters talk about that. And it really, I mean, it really comes down to, like, when you're putting forth a lot of effort and you're, you know, you're going to be selling a gem for a few hundred dollars and somebody's going to be buying a gem for a few hundred dollars, then they want to know that it's going to be investment grade. It's going to be resellable, you know. Going to be able to get your money's worth, money back out of it, etc., etc. BRB call coming in, no problem, man. Have a good call. LOL, can't forget the... Sa oh, the safety glasses. Yeah, because those safety and face. So anyway, let's show y'all Tup That Ruby, shall we? So this actually is a piece of the, the new ruby that we got, and I wanted to show this to help explain the fake ruby. So notice how it's like dark and then when it goes out to the cracks the cracks are white like look at the cracks by my fingernail there not the dirt in my fingernail and the cracks are white so now let me show you the fake ruby because we we gave it a little polish okay notice how the cracks are red and the stone is white So, because that's because the dye went down inside the cracks of the white stone. Whereas this stone is dark in the center of the crystal, which is hard to do. And my thing bugged out, which is easy to do. We're getting the show to be a little bit better each time. I actually did try and reinstall the software, and that's why I know that changing renderers helps to fix the problem, but it only seems to solve it for a little while kind of sad about this microscope camera because it, it's really cool and it's fun but at the same time it's like why won't it work when is it gonna work how do we make it work how much time do I have to spend see white cracks dark centers dark cracks white centers very fakeness so I'm actually the the plan with this Ruby is to shine a flashlight through it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that after I show you that piece that I polished last week because it also kinda emphasizes the whole dark cracks light centers uh, you know situation that we're dealing with with this dyed treated stone let's see where is the flashlight Okay, let's see if we can flash a light through this ruby. Yeah, a little bit of light comes through. Because I'm wondering if maybe we can, you know, cut down the center of it. So I think, based on what I can see, and there's actually kind of a translucent area. And if I could just get that to show a little bit. There's a translucent area in here, and I have a video of the ruby, don't I? Showing the video of Tuck That Ruby. There it is, dude. Yep, that's me polishing it. Polishing up the ruby. So I kind of actually want to get that translucent part out of there and look at it. I'd like to get it out and polish it down all the way around it and see if any of the dye got into the actual crystal itself. So I think what we're gonna do next is probably try and cut on one side of it like along here. And we're gonna pull that part out a little bit at a time. Well, well, what I'll do is I'll cut it, and then I'll grind over to it, and that way we can get it even, and we'll know exactly where we're going, and we will also know, essentially, up that ruby. So, I want to thank you all for coming by and checking out the ruby portion of the program. And the chatbot portion of the program, we should make that a weekly thing. Is That name is the one I like. Jacob's juice. Oh, nice. I used Jacob's juice. 
A counterfeit ruby. Oh, Mother Nature, yes. That is the portion of the program we've been calling Update on Tup That Ruby. And it's a dollar fifty. I paid a dollar fifty for the, the ruby you saw up in the corner that was dancing around. And I've been sawing chunks off of it. I saw I sawed a little slice off the side. And I've been just kind of giving everybody a, a little update, you know, every week on, on the quality of uh, Dup That Ruby. And let's see, I planted radishes and broccoli. And yeah, Mother Nature, we've got some big rubies for, um, for Colette. I actually got some nice big chunks of ruby. This is real. This is not showing very well. And yes, that was a very short video. Let's see if I can show another big video and show you a couple more pieces of gem. Because, I mean, like, look at this lemon quartz that we got. We're going to be cutting into this. Th look at that color on that thing. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You imagine I got that for five bucks? That was a pretty good deal. It's going to make a really beautiful gem. I got Actually, I got to line this up so I can... Make sure you guys see what I'm excited about. So, you know how the bottom of a lot of gems are 45 Look at that. It's almost already there. And so, it's going to, yeah, it's going to give that kind of a flare. And it's going to be that big. Like, like, something like that. Big of a gem. With that shiny flare on both sides. It's going to be really, it's going to be exciting. As long as we don't mess it up, it's going to be exciting. Um, let's see. <clears throat> oh, I didn't have the microscope cam going. Did I? Or did I? Or did I? Where's that? There it is. Microscope cam. Smart cam. Nope, that's the chat bot. There's the smart cam. Okay. Jacob's Juice. Yeah, Ron planted with my uh, plant food. Actually, Ron's been contributing to the show and the progress that we've been making. Ron's an awesome guy. That's why we sent him an obelisk, and I think I sent him a, a piece of blue aventurine. A big bar. Big old bar. Like, you could almost make like a, a little belt buckle out of it or something like that. Welcome, Jake the Gaming Wolf. Jake, man, I don't remember. I think it's two letter C's. Right? Or no, J Jake, we reset the um we we reset the chatbot when I changed up to Windows 10 and so I like why well, I didn't reset it? The chatbot reset itself. So, yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, we're coming back with all of the, you know, chat. Here, you can try this one. Yeah, that one should work. Colette made it. Okay, Colette's here. Cool. Glad Colette made it because I was showing the rubies. Oh, and I was showing this piece of sapphire. So this is a piece of sapphire, and it the blue is not really coming through properly. See if the blue. Yeah. See there, it's it's got some blue on it. It's a nice piece of sapphire, and this sapphire really complements this ruby. Great stuff. I am so blessed to have been able to get it. Oof, chat. What's the command? Would be the perfect Batman symbol. Oh, that's cool. Mother Nature's awesome. Mother Nature, I hope you have a good Halloween. We're actually, I have a couple Halloween jokes for the show. I should have actually focused a little bit of time to write some Halloween jokes for the show. But I'm trying to focus my time on finding that quartz footage. There it is. Okay, so we're going to just kind of roll a little bit more quartz footage for you while I get ready for the joke portion of the program. Because this piece is coming up. Yeah, this, this piece is, this piece is going to be cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, there you go, Jake the Gaming Wolf. You can enter exclamation point gems. And then you will have a rating of how many gems you have. Which reminds me, I want it I want to pull up the joke portion, but before I do that, 
I want to show you guys a couple of the stones that I got in the mail and kind of get your idea of processing the stones. So I showed the Turk. This is some turquoise. And this kind of expresses the problem with processing turquoise. You got to try and find an even color and no specks and stuff like that. And yeah, good luck with that one. And we got some rotolite pieces. These are nice little rotolite chips there. Might be something good in there. We don't know until we open it up. And then we got yeah, these awesome little sapphires. I'm just they're they're just really cool. And we got more ruby for Colette. Glad Colette made it. I got a couple of pieces of amethyst that I'm kind of excited about. This one's not really showing, but yeah good good color in them some of them don't have much color or very good color but a couple of them have really good color so I'm kind of excited about that and we also got a couple pieces of peridot like this one it's got a really clean tip in it this tip piece that's gonna be a nice clean piece of peridot so anyway, that's the update on incoming stones. Oh yeah, I was going to show. Y'all want to see a 573 carat ruby? <laughs> there it is under the microscope cam. It's like a giant asteroid coming for the earth. It's like a potato. It's so big. See how it has the basic facets to it too? It's like it's starting to grow a column shape. So cool. That's a giant ruby. Look, it even has the six sides. It has the one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Mm-hmm. Show sure enough. Flat little column. It's an awesome piece. Daughters, not daggers. Daggers. Oh, I got to read that one. Hold on. We got to find that comment. Great job, Joan. The person I just moved in with knows how to crochet and it's going to teach my daggers. Oh, wow. Mother Nature. You know how many views you'd get if you crocheted with daggers? You could just be the dagger crocheter. Learn to crochet with daggers. You could be like, you'd be like Edward Scissor Hands, but with crochet. And it's like just you, that. I mean, even if it was just like fake and funny, you could be like, there's like strings flying everywhere, and you're like, da 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 da, -da and then the music's playing, and then next thing you hold up this giant blanket quilt that's also a snuggie and has like pockets and a little mini fridge, and you know, there's like a car radio mounted to it. I think that would be quite exciting to watch. Your rocks are huge, man. Oh, oh, that, yeah, I know. I got some big stones, baby. I like to shake it up. We like to grind them. And that reminds me, I got a, a, one more thing I was going to show you before we get to the jokes, which, you know, you should all be ready to tune out then. Because um, I don't got much this week. Kind of like this moonstone. I don't got much with this moonstone either. Yeah. Not really liking the moonstone too much. Can't quite find the flare. See, there's a little bit of flare going on. That, that yellow that's crawling across there. But uh, I like the blue moonstone, you know. This is mostly just like a, a sample, I guess. It's kind of like a museum sample, mostly. Anyway... Moonstone always, you know, it always sells really fast. So I thought if there's going to be some Moonstone, I better snag it up. And I did. I snagged that Moonstone right on up. Snagified. Just like all of the stuff where we get rid of... Oh, remember the minigun goes brrrr. No, the minigun...
No, J uh, Jake. The minigun goes re because you know re, and also when you fire up the minigun, it, it that's what it, it goes re. And uh, yeah, anyway, I was going to say a rabbit, but it would have been kind of lame. Rabbiting with clothes on, even just doing dish clothes is fun. Dish cloths is fun. Okay, that yeah, clothes on. Doing dish clothes with your clothes on, that's a good idea. It's a really good idea. How do you determine how many carrots in a stone? Okay, so Jake the Gaming Wolf, carrots with a K is weight of gold. No, not weight. Quality of gold. Purity. Purity of gold. Carrots with a C, and it's only one R, and it's two A's, but carrots with a C is weights actually no you know what I think I think it might be two R's and an O mother nature I think I don't know what I swear I've seen it just but you know C-A-R-A but actually spelled carrot it, it should be correct because one Gemstone carrot CTW is equal to one carrot seed, ideally. A carrot seed. Uh, Mother Nature, the stand, the industry stand. I mean, I always figured about seventy percent. The industry standard is about forty to sixty percent. So you take the rough crystal, and about forty to sixty percent of that is going to be how many carrots you're left with after polish. Yeah, Mother Nature, it I've seen it spelt that way a lot, but I mean it's it's after a carrot seed, and how do we spell carrot? With two R's and an O. It just makes too much sense. Big old moon st stone. Jacob's moons. Oh that's funny. Ron, you're too hilarious, man. Interesting. Learn something new every day. <clears throat> oh yeah, if if anybody has any kind of gem questions or you know wants to know why I tell jokes on the show you're probably better off thinking about it than asking me because I don't even understand it man that is yeah I think I'm gonna take the saw out of that but I, I want this stone to turn out nice and it it's just so big and you know the saw wouldn't leave anything if, yeah that, <laughs> I'm, I'm pointing out I'm like maybe I should saw it off anyway I'm going to take a drink. Now I hit the microphone, but I didn't spill it down my shirt this time. We're growing. Improvements to the show, right? Yes. So, um... <clears throat> we are going to get ready for the time that we all call and refer to as suscepting you to not even ready not even ready now I'm ready the joke portion of the program do you drill holes in them for jewelry or are they solid holes yeah, they they um they they ain't got no holes in them, but um Joan uh so Dremel, right? Dremel, yeah. Or I mean, you can even go to Harbor Freight and get the DC Dremels that are like nine dollars, nine ninety nine or something. They come with bits and they work. Actually, I I would suggest using one of those, um because they're so slow that you can hold it with your finger. So it, you know it. Because you, you're working with small stuff. If you want to honk something off, get an EC power Dremel, you know, or get a, a roto zip or a spiral saw or something. <clears throat> uh, the Dremel is going to be more reliable, and you can dial in the speed of it. Basically, the the Dremel is going to be able to, and usually they come with tiny little drill bits, and you can go slower and add water or oil to drill out the stone, and that'll help you drill the hole. And they actually make vices for drilling pearls 
holds the pearl and then it helps you center in it and uh, that's another thing you want to do is you want to get a tube to drill down so that way you can position the tube and get the drill to go exactly and it won't wander on you otherwise it'll chip and flank and there you go and you don't want to deal with that wire but yeah um anyway drilling holes and all that kind of stuff um my carrots look like they was from the fallout game oh wow ron dude so um actually uh i was looking at uh like like carrots that grow like did they have any polymorphisms like where they split out or did they just get really big and layery? What does a panda ghost eat? Bam, scary. Ghosts. Bamboo. I was going to say use water. Yep, butter beer. There you go. Butter beer will really help with those carrots. Um, <clears throat> Jokes, right? We're supposed to read jokes. Joke portion of the show. That reminds me of how I'm supposed to read jokes dur during the joke portion and I have some I just gotta find them gotta find them gotta find them gotta f where's the joke okay this is a leftover from last week what kids game does Bigfoot play hop squatch last of the squatch jokes totally for you know this week who brews the best Halloween beer Count Draculager. And I did. I wanted to give you the Halloween jokes this week so you can use them all week, because next week it'll be a little bit too late. But if we use them this week, then you can tell people all week these great jokes and where you heard them. Or, you know, maybe you'll avoid all of that because of the jokes. Are cargo shorts meant for hauling ass? Wait. Did we speak French on the show? What did the ship captain say when he wanted some mixed nuts? Head to the bridge. I love bridge mix. It's delicious. What did the jeweler say to the chicken? Did you see this ring box? That's not even funny. Okay, which knight makes the best pancakes? Syrup. That's why you came here. And I'm sorry to suscept you to... Okay, when you make American cheese, do you get the American way? Why are jails made of cement? Oh, Mother Nature, I was thinking of this because of the condor joke. I was, I was like, okay, I, I hope Mother Nature... <laughs> I hope I get to tell her this. And you're here. Uh, why are jails made of cement? Because it's concrete just really really dumb and yeah I, that's what happened I was like I was like oh it's a mother nature joke and then I was just you know distracted and I was like no nope, we're leaving it there we're gonna leave it there she can help make it better because she's good at, at yeah helping with the jokes like that would be a good topic what's the most dance worthy dinner jambalaya ooh man that yeah we're we're going to leave that one and just kind of let that roast for a little while what does a ghost call their partner boo my keyboard stopped working i think it's upset with me cuz i keep pushing its buttons <clears throat> probably why did the iowa student date a ball player she wanted a hawkeye she wanted a hawkeye Anyway, moving on. My doctor says that when I feel stick, stick. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So the the joke doctor had posted something about writing monologues, and I wrote a reply. And I don't really think this is done, but I took it down as a note because I didn't have a lot of jokes at the beginning of the week, and I was like, we gotta write down all of them for. I I'm st I'm I gotta stop making excuses for my jokes. Anyway, this is a little context for you. He was talking about monologues, how at the beginning, and the joke doctor, he actually looks at the science of the joke, so I really appreciate him posting and all that. <clears throat> he says a monologue should start with information. And so I, I said, 
My doctor said that when I feel sick, I should start a diary. So after last Saturday, I think I'll start a monologue. Because, you know, getting mono on a freaky Saturday night. I hear Fanta is joining up with High C to make a Fanta C drink. They're going to make a combination drink, and it's going to be Fanta C. <clears throat> anyway... There, there's a lot of ways to arrange that. I don't know if we got the best one, but we're kind of rolling that out there. Would you drink fantasy? My oven timer broke. Now my brownies are blackies. So, so crusty. Actually, they're kind of good. Uh, yeah, that happened. Anyway, um, these are almost done, I promise. The Halloween jokes, we're going to finish those out. What did the gardener say on Halloween? Check out my gruesome sight. There you go, Michigan native. That's for you, buddy. Who's the worst Halloween guest? Count drank your lager. And who's the most confusing audience? Ghosts. They always say boo. Much like all the drinking and booze at the joke portion of the program. Thank you for coming by and checking that out. You all are so fantastic. We're going to try and go back to the live stream. I'm going to give you all a shout out because you deserve that and more. You're all wonderful. Where's my gem footage? Here it is. We'll just kind of let this footage roll. I gotta get this shout out thing down. At least I'm getting the audio portion down. Yeah, that's great. Great! Great like all of you for coming by. Man, we had some fantastic people. Joni Rotten came by. Oh, it's time for the jungle. And Ron Weasley made it. He's awesome. Always hanging out and talking about cool stuff. Hey, and Malone made it. All right, good. We got Malone's link in there, and we got some updates to the channel. Oh, Rotten Studios. Okay. Actually, we need to go ahead and get the Rotten Studios link. I'm going to try and do that after the show and wish you all very well. Michigan Native made it. We got his thing updated. And Brooklyn OG made it. And I'm so glad he made it because we got his thing updated. And we got his link in the channel. And Mother Nature made it. Man, I'm glad to know that Mother Nature's doing well. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to know that you're all doing well. We're going to send you out and, and hope you have a great week. Just like Jake the Gaming Wolf. You go out there and make the best out of this week. You can do that every week. And YouTube, Colette, we're going to get you some rubies in the mail. That's so exciting. Colette, I can't wait. And we're going to have an unboxing of some of Colette's stuff along with a Ninja Sword unboxing, right? And so that's going to be exciting. And we're going to do that next week and every week at 9 p.m. Eastern. Much love and have a great week, y'all. You're excellent.